Hi everyone, so we're all aware of different eras of Shane Dawson. There have been so many, and so many friends have came and gone, and it's always been really weird knowing which era people started watching at. Now, the era we're currently living in is like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star trying to world dominate, you know what I mean? But an era that happened not so long ago was Shane Dawson and Garrett Watts. Now, they seemed like the best most close friends ever and they seem to have a real authentic connection. Now, this is the same Garrett that Ryland thought that Garrett and Shane were maybe having a sexual relationship behind the scenes or at least had feelings for each other because they would go and work for so long, you know what I mean? So Ryland got Shane to do a lie detector test saying that he didn't have those feelings for Garrett and it came back that he didn't. But they seemed really good friends and they did so many conspiracy theory videos together. They would do like horror theme videos. They would go to hotel rooms and do videos together. And you know what? They seemed like genuine friends. And that era of Shane was one of the most tolerable ones. Since then, it's just gotten so much worse. So in the height of the Shane and Jeffrey drama, everyone has been saying, what happened to Garrett? And what's the past friends of Shane Dawson's? What are their opinions on what's happening right now? Because it is so embarrassing, the stuff that is happening to their friends, you know what I mean? And we're all like, are they still friends? Now, if you remember, Jeffrey and Garrett did a video together and Jeffrey was like sexualizing him the entire video and was being really weirdly forward in the video. And I thought back then that that would turn Garrett off the idea of Shane and Jeffrey being so close. And you have to realize as well, Jeffrey is so materialistic and he makes Shane materialistic. So whenever Garrett was there, Garrett didn't really care about that. Garrett was literally just there for a laugh, there for jokes. So he was having these conversations with him that he didn't care about. So I knew that it wouldn't last for long and that Garrett would start to disassociate himself from Shane, which he has very clearly done. And we can see it because he's never featured in Shane's videos anymore. And you know what? Do I blame the ex-friends of Shane Dawson for one Thing to distance themselves from him. Number one, why would they want to be associated with Shane right now with everything that's happening? But two, they know what Shane's personality is like behind closed doors. So at a certain level, you're like, was there something that pushed them over the edge as well that we don't know about? So Garrett Watts especially has been quite silent during all of the drama that's been happening and everyone's like, man, we need you to release a statement. Are you condoning Shane's behavior or whatever? So nothing has been happening and someone sent me this and it is absolutely juicy and I think it says so much. Let me show you. So on TikTok, someone posted and it was a video of them dancing and it says, me watching all these racists getting exposed and it's just like them doing like the Harlem Shake and stuff. And the video has 138,000 likes. Now the video was talking about Jeffrey and Shane and their racist past now resurfacing again. Basically because of the height of things that we're in right now and it's so bad and even more stuff from their past is resurfacing. So this video was about them. And Garrett commented under the video. Like I don't think you understand. Like he literally acted out against Shane. This caption is gold. And as always, the dancing is something above gold. Platinum? I don't know. Love your stuff, Zach. So sick. And so everyone was like, the shade. Not only did Garth just like this, because if Garth had liked this post, we would all be like, oh my god, he's insinuating that he's turning against Shane and Jeffrey and he's not associating themselves with that. Not only did he like it, he also commented under it, but he didn't just comment like a laughing emoji. He literally said, this caption is gold. Talking about the caption that says, me watching all these racists getting exposed. Talking about the two main YouTubers that are getting exposed for being racist right now. I was shocked. I did not think that Garrett was gonna do this. I didn't even think Garrett was gonna release a statement. I thought Garrett would just continue to take himself away from the situation. I fully believe that Guard is so much better without these people. Guard has such a sweet personality from what we're seeing. Obviously, we don't know people behind closed doors and behind the screen, but he seems to be way too good for Shane. And Shane is a completely different person now than what he was when he filmed videos with Guard. So Guard doing this is actually quite sad because it's showing that he's now moved on from Shane, you know what I mean? But also him saying the caption is gold about these racists getting exposed could also show that Garrett maybe wasn't aware of Shane's racist past and is now being seen actively in front of his eyes seeing that one of his friends was a really raging racist online. And that must be hard. Now we can take this from two different approaches. So either Garrett did know about Shane's past and thought he was a different person. And then whenever Jeffrey became involved, he saw that Shane kind of slipped into a different person, kind of how he was at the start. Or Garrett really thought Shane was a good person and seeing all this stuff really hurt him. And he wants to completely take himself away from that situation, which is why he doesn't actively support Shane anymore and doesn't actively support Jeffrey. He never really did. So the fact that Garrett did that, now keep in mind, Shane Dawson does not have many friends. He doesn't have many friends for a reason. Let's count Shane Dawson's friends on one hand. Ryland, his fiance, 
Morgan, his fiancée's sister, and Jeffree Star. That is three people. And normally people say, keep your circle close. They say that because it's for your own protection, but for this, it's probably in the protection of others that there's no more friends. Because Shane has had so many people that were in his life for a long period of time just leave him. And he can't put this down to, oh, I'm anxious and I always see people leave me. You know what I mean? No. These people are leaving you because they're disgusted at your actions and the fact that you're actively not changing. I wonder what Garrett knows. Cause Garrett was in that circle and filmed so many of those videos and I think all the videos that Shane has done with Garrett are so heavily edited and because Shane has creative control over it, he can choose what to edit out. And in doing that, he can edit out problematic stuff so he's very much so a filtered person so Garrett experiences firsthand what Shane is like on screen and off screen. And they've obviously had conversations about Shane's intentions and in doing stuff, so I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's super weird that Garrett chose to comment under that because he was doing so well just disassociating himself from Shane. And while I do like people holding themselves accountable, even being like, my friend was really shitty and you know, I've decided not to be friends with them anymore. For him to be like, this caption is gold about YouTubers finally getting exposed for their racist past shows that something shady is going on. I don't think Garrett is that shady of a person and I think he would just leave all that bullshit and behind and maybe that's what he's done. Maybe this is why we have not seen Garrett in Shane's videos for a long time. And you know what? Props to Garrett if he left Shane because of his past. But also there's the underlying thing where everyone's like, oh don't judge people by their past, they've changed. With Garrett being able to encourage this behaviour by this TikTok, it also kind of insinuates that the behaviour hasn't changed from Shane. They're saying these YouTubers getting exposed for their racist past or whatever, but for him to comment onto that whenever it's being said about his friend or maybe ex-friend, he wouldn't do that if it's just talking about their past because he would probably forgive Shane, you know what I mean? He'd be like, oh, he's a different person now. So maybe this is implying that this behaviour is still condoned and allowed to happen within Shane's circle. And maybe that's why Shane's circle is so small and protect each other. So Gar, I am so happy if you got out of this. I loved the little jab. I thought it was so good and you never know, we could could see in future Garrett releasing a statement against Shane saying that he's taking himself away. I don't know, it's just kind of weird by the fact that Garrett completely stopped hanging out with Shane and we don't see him anymore. Or even if Garrett is still hanging out with him, he's obviously telling Shane not to post about it because he, they're never seen together and they don't really support each other anymore. And so I just can't believe that Garrett did that. What's your guys' opinion on it? What do you think? about all the ex-friends of Shane? What do you think they have on them? Because I feel like they have so much dirt. Can you imagine? So Garrett, if you're gonna tell your experience, you know what, we're here to listen, we're here to support you if you choose that you don't want Shane in your life anymore, and you know what, I did appreciate the little shady jab. So one thing I was thinking as well, Garrett has his own YouTube channel, and he has 3.25 million subscribers, so he got all that basically just from Shane, but if you think about it, his last upload was 4 months ago, 5 months ago, 11 months ago, 1 year, 1 year, 1 year, 2 years, so he doesn't upload that much because he literally devoted his life to helping Shane, and they were business partners and they did everything together and he was very much so protecting Shane in terms of making sure that their business could be booming. Remember they literally bought like a studio, a new house that they could work in it and they were doing new merch. So that was also the merch of the Shinene, which is, you know, Garrett was involved in creating that and thinking that was a good decision to make merch on that character again. So he is at fault there and I'm sure he thinks he's at fault for a lot of things, but it's just... I would hope that Garrett could make the disconnect and actually come back with his own videos and do consistent videos again because I'm sure he feels uncomfortable doing that because Shane gave him all that platform but there would be an audience to support him and especially if he came forward and told his story of his events of what happened. It's just if you think about it like you have to realize that these people were in a situation where their best friend had millions upon millions of dollars like that is like that's so admirable, like of course you're gonna do what your friend wants you to do, whether that's making merch for them or starting a company with them. And I'm sure there was a really genuine friendship there because it was very much so seen. So that's why it's kinda really confusing that Garrett is acting out against him, but also that seemingly him and Shane just aren't friends anymore and that Shane's friends with Jeffrey, but Jeffrey is just nowhere to be seen defending Shane right now. And it's kinda like, is that your real friend? So you dropped Garrett and all them for someone who won't even defend you in the situation. You know what I mean? It's it's really weird and there's so many opinions, split opinions on this. So thank you all so much for watching. Again, please tell me what you think. Do you think any other friends are going to come out against Shane? Even doing little things as in commenting on a post that's alluding to Shane and Jeffrey. Because we're all aware that Garrett did not like Jeffrey. In my opinion, Jeffrey seemed to make Garrett really uncomfortable. Garrett isn't about that life, that money life and that oh I'm so privileged life. 
Gart seems humble, so you know that might be another friendship that's just crumbled before our eyes. There hasn't been a public breakup between them, but you know what? They've stopped hanging out, and they've stopped actively supporting each other, and that says it all. That says it all. It's like every day there's someone new coming forward, like, what's it gonna be next, you know what I mean? Whew, anyway, Lord, I'll see you in my next one, bye!